Yeah, I want to get in one completed run. Then Eli, if you want to play Rocket League, we should play after that. But I want to get in one full run. Newford, you could do that, but it would take way longer to make a make a file, get all the way to Siam Lake, and then do the glitch than to just finish the run. So you could do it, but it'd be slower. Attempt number three. Also, goddammit, I have the wrong shading on. So again, every fourth hit will stagger this guy, so I'll try to time that. This guy has three attacks. One of them is a quick attack, which is by far the most dangerous. So that's the only one I really have to be careful about. Um, random... Can you call me Grim on stream? I don't really care, but I, I think it'd probably be better if you did. That was actually really close to death. Oh god. Okay, so I should actually pay attention. That's gonna hit me. Damn. This might kill me. Nope, I'm good. Okay, let me just get away from this guy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I'm really not playing this very well. Let me just get through this fight, though. There we go. Okay, once I get through this, I'll continue commentary and stuff. Okay, and I want that guy to get out of the corner. When he's in the corner, uh, his quick attack shockwave will hit me, which is why I don't want him to be there. His other two attacks are not really a problem, though. Okay, he's almost down. There we go. Okay, bad fight, but I'll take it. And that's good. I got his money as well. So... Now that this fight is over, I'm going to spawn on the mainland. I had to kill that guy, not only because it's all bosses, but because he drops um, some very valuable loot. Uh, at the bottom left of my screen, you'll see my displays for my salt and gold. So for anyone who's familiar with Dark Souls, salt is like souls. It's the, the currency that I use to level up my character and to uh, upgrade items. But unlike Dark Souls, there's also a secondary currency, which is just gold, that I'll use to uh, buy and sell things. Uh, these are sanctuaries. A sanctuary is like a bonfire in Dark Souls. It has some differences, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it's basically a bonfire. I already mentioned long jumping last run. A trick I can do by rolling jumping on the same frame. Unlike any percent, now you'll actually get to see some uh, some menuing in terms of leveling up and whatnot. So leveling up gets you these points, they're called black pearls, that you can put into the skill tree. And as you would probably expect, I'm getting a very specific uh, series of skills. Also a differentiator between this game and Dark Souls is that um, in this game, uh, at sanctuaries you can place NPCs, like this merchant. Uh, I got some salt from the starting boss, I also got some gold from him, and I sold uh, his two items for even more gold. Mm -hmm. One sec. Zero. One. Stop. What I'm doing here is a trick called Ladder Clip, and I'm using it to glitch to this area called the Developer Island, which is a, a shop left in place by the developers.
which has a, a merchant who sells me a very, very overpowered weapon called the Jaws of Death. It's the weapon that I'm going to be using for every single boss fight in the entire game. So I'll say this too, especially for anyone who might, uh, who might have not seen this game casually, you will see a lot of bosses go down extremely quickly, but do not mistake that for the game being easy. Uh, the reason these bosses are going to go down quickly is because the weapon I'm using is very, very powerful. Like this guy, for instance, will go down in five hits. That fast. Okay. I'll do some kind of drops to get down to these areas. I'm going to stop into a little hidden alcove here to buy some stained pages from this guy. Stained pages are very, very useful items that, uh, at their most basic usage, are uh, weapon buffs. They'll allow me to do more damage, and I'll be using them on not all, but most bosses. Uh, but they have a secondary effect, which is that they can desecrate sanctuaries, and I'll explain what that means later. This is a blacksmith, another NPC. He does exactly what you'd expect. So this weapon, Jaws of Death, I will upgrade to a maximum level of 7 by the time the run is over. But to upgrade a weapon, you need salt, which is a kind of currency. And you also need special upgrade items, so right now I can only upgrade it twice. That uh, item I just used is called a Warhorn. It makes my stamina come back more quickly for a short period of time, which is extremely useful because uh, stamina in this game is actually quite a bit more punishing than it is in Dark Souls. You have to be much more careful of your stamina management. Okay. Next up, the Mad Alchemist. I'm gonna use Sustained Page on this boss and he will go down in five hits. Not too much to say about it. By the way, that thing will not land. There we go. Rainbow, nice. Uh, I already mentioned this in the Any% percent run, but you'll see me doing that bell duplication glitch a bunch of times. So I only bought two bells at the start of the run, but I can duplicate them to use them a whole bunch of times. Is there a reason you don't leave the Master Sword equipped all the time? Uh, yes, because it's a very heavy weapon. So, uh, when I have that thing equipped, I move a little bit, a little bit more slowly, and more importantly, my long jumps are uh, shorter. So yeah, whenever I'm just moving around, I roll faster and I... Um, Crap. I roll faster and I long jump farther with my uh, short weapon equipped. So you can see how quickly these bosses are just evaporating under this weapon. Fall off, thank you. Equip my strength ring, use a stained page. This next boss goes down in six hits, but he'll stagger in five. Assuming I can hit him fast enough. There we go. Good fight. Now, this is one of the most interesting tricks in the game. It's called the reset glitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trick the game into opening up two copies of the main menu. What that allows me to do is load my character with the main menu still open. And uh, what that allows me to do is reset my character's level to 1, even though I get to keep all my stats and everything else. So that I can level up a whole bunch more times on the same amount of salt. Specifically, I leveled up 12 times. 
so that I can put a whole bunch of points into strength and do lots of damage. Okay, so this will be the longest ladder clip in the game that you've seen so far. It's not the longest one in the run, but that's the longest one you've seen so far. And it makes it very, very apparent just how much of a game-breaking glitch this trick is. You can see I'm just skipping over huge parts of the map. Right now I'm flying up to Castle of Storms. Uh, the next boss isn't up there, but I'm going to have to teleport back later. Really? That's really interesting, Blue. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to do some research into that at some point. Stone guides let me teleport between sanctuaries, and here's where the run gets really interesting. Crap, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Second time I've done that. I was supposed to upgrade my weapon first. Crap. It's not game breaking, but that was really dumb. Drop, please. Anyway, I just desecrated that sanctuary. Um, desecrating a sanctuary removes the creed from the sanctuary, which has some very interesting effects on my bell of return. A bell of return is an item that when I use it, that's, that's a, um, no. Okay, fucking, okay, I'll undo that when I can. It keeps auto-splitting again. That's a false rainbow. Hold up, let me not mess this up. All right. Okay, that, yeah, that's a false rainbow. I have to get rid of it. Um, so Bells of Return are an item that I can use to teleport back to the Sanctuary that I rested at most recently. But what I've done now is I, uh, I desecrated the Sanctuary that I rested at most recently, which means that when I use my Bell, it's going to get confused. Rather than teleporting me, it's going to spawn me in place and reset my spawn point to wherever, I, uh, to wherever I use the Bell. So what I did a minute ago is I used I did a trick called a Bell Drop to survive a Fatal Fall. Uh, the reason I was upset is that I was supposed to upgrade my weapon twice before I before I desecrated the sanctuary. It's not going to make that big a deal, but it'll take a little bit longer to kill these bosses. There we go. I think that's rainbow, though. Okay. One additional thing. This game is a Metroidvania. Uh, skills in this game are called brands, like a cattle brand, and this is uh, the only one in the game that I'm going to pick up legitimately. It's called Redshift. It's going to let me get through some barricades later in the run. But after I get it, I can just quit the game and reload, and I'm going to spawn at my most recent checkpoint, which happens to be the spot where I landed from my death fall. And away we go. Yeah, I know Snoopy. I realized that at the, at the start. I realized that at the start of the run, but I didn't want to reset again. I don't know, Tupsy. So remember, I've been duplicating bells. This one, I'm intentionally not duplicating because I just don't need to. Here's a little drop here to avoid damage. And then onward to the next boss. This next boss, there's not that much to say. You just fight him. He's uh, He takes a while to kill because he has a lot of health. But other than that, there isn't too much to say. I'll be watching my stamina very closely throughout this fight. It is very, very important that you manage your stamina. 
and running out of stamina makes you move pretty slowly, so. Okay, that was actually a really good fight, though. Surprised. Here I'm gonna quit, which will uh, spawn me back at that last bell location I used, and coming up is the most difficult bell drop of the game. I don't usually mess it up, but famous last words, we'll see what happens. That should do it, good. So this boss is called Karstra the Cruel. He's a massive run killer uh, because his attacks hit extremely hard and he can one-shot you with pretty much everything. And in his phase two, which activates when he's at less than 50% health, he has an attack that um, is almost impossible to dodge. So the speedrun trick is that you uh, just kill him fast enough that he can never do his attack. Uh, of note in that fight is also that he staggers every three hits. And actually when I killed him, he was about to do the impossible attack, so <laughs> that, uh, that was pretty good. Good rainbows. Yeah, Snoopy, I appreciate you pointing it out. I just, you know, I didn't feel like restarting the run for it. So if you remember these guys, they're way too dangerous, so I'm just going to do this and just kind of jump over them, like so. So coming up is something that's really, really interesting. This is another part of the run that is a little complicated, so pay attention. Um, this game, like Dark Souls, has creeds that you can uh, be a part of, like covenants. Uh, I am going to go join a covenant that's at the bottom of this giant mine shaft, but to get down there, I have to uh, survive all these falls. And it turns out that if I drink a potion and then do my movement just right, I can just barely survive, like so. This covenant uh, is called the Betrayers. The reason I want to join them is that they're going to give me access to an item called the Flask of Defilement which I can throw at a boss to make the boss take double damage. So once I get the flasks, I'm going to be using them on every single boss fight for the rest of the game. That said, uh, you don't get the item immediately. You have to turn in a special item to a special NPC. The item is called an expunged heart and the NPC is called a stone leader. And I'll say more about that momentarily. Let me just upgrade my weapon a few times. Hey, Rue. Thank you very much. Okay, now we'll level up a bunch. And I'm going to pour most of my points into strength here. and then the rest into willpower. Talk to you and buy some items. Then we teleport. So to get an expunged heart, that's awesome. To get an expunged heart, I have to defile a sanctuary, which you've seen me done before, uh, do before, but I also have to stick around and uh, fully expunge the sanctuary. And to expunge a sanctuary, I have to go and take out a bunch of enemies that spawn. There are four enemies that are problematic. Uh, two of them, so there's a mage and a ground guy. They're trivial. A mage is going to spawn here. The mage is easy. It's the horse guy that's a challenge. So let's see if I can take him out cleanly. I mean, it, I'm in a pretty good position to do so. Good. Perfect. So this will give me an item called an expunged heart. Now I'm going to give it to the leader back in Siam Lake. Where are you? Over here. And get expunged, or flasks of defilement, I should say. Next up is a boss called Ronin Cran. He's not a super interesting boss fight, but along the way, I'm going to take out a Mimic that's going to drop an item that I need to upgrade my weapon to its maximum level.
There we go. The interesting thing about this boss fight is that, uh, like any boss, he has a bunch of attacks, but one of his attacks is this buff where he stands in place and uh, kind of charges up. If he does that attack, I can get a very, very quick kill on him, so I hope he does it. He did not. There we go, now he did it. He's dead. Just like that. Yes, uh, flasks are re ref uh, refreshed at a sanctuary, yes. Okay. Moving right along. Next up is the Tree of Men, which is uh, one of the more difficult boss fights casually, but in, its, in the speedrun, he's actually kind of easy. And he's not actually easy, but he's consistent, which is not the case with a lot of other bosses. So all I have to do is play my cards right, and he'll go down in no time. Crap, wrong weapon. One sec. Die, die, die. Alright. That was... How was that a rainbow by 12 seconds? Okay, I'll take it. I'm actually surprised. So that fight didn't go perfectly, but it went pretty damn well. Die. Uh, to get to this next boss, the Disemboweled Husk, I'm going to do a little uh, drop. Oh god, that was kind of close. Like so. Which you can survive. It's a little skip. Now I have to pay attention. That guy from up there can teleport down at me, so I have to be cautious. Alright. <laughs> it, it's, it's a very cool run. It's a very challenging run. down that fast. Fantastic. Uh, so now I'm going to use a calling horn and go back to Siam Lake and I'm going to quit the game. The reason I quit the game here is that it's going to trick the game into giving me an ability that I haven't picked up yet, which is, uh, I think it's called Shadowbrand or something. It's a wall jump ability. And now I need to go talk to the blacksmith and upgrade to maximum level. So this is all the more I'm going to upgrade this thing. Oops. Uh, the next fight, Coveted, I think is really interesting. So if you play this game casually, you know what this boss is, but he's this, uh, it, there's this big axe, which is guarded by two ghosts, and it's actually the axe that's the boss, not the ghost, even though the axe doesn't do anything on its own. It also turns out that if you position yourself correctly, i.e. you don't go... If you stay left far enough, you don't aggro the second ghost. Unbelievably good fight. That was perfect RNG. Sometimes that ghost will pick up the uh, axe immediately, which wastes time because you have to wait for him to throw it down or move into range, but that went very, very well. Now this is the longest ladder clip in the game. Hardest thing here is to not let your hand get tired. I should say too, um, this trick, I don't think I actually said this yet, works the same way as long jumping, where when I press uh, jump and roll on the same frame, I get this trick, which technically makes it a frame perfect trick that I'm doing hundreds of times in a row, which would be virtually impossible. So you can actually go into the in-game key rebinding menu and rebind keys on controller, well, buttons on controller, such that I have a long jump or ladder clip button, which in my case is Y. 
Yeah, I'm shocked at these rainbows. These are legitimate rainbows, too. Like, I'm really surprised about that. Okay, we're almost at the next one. Hey, Zepify. What's up? Okay, flask, and now we go to town. This guy gets staggered in three. This guy is actually pretty easy. And he's giving me perfect RNG. This is insane. This is insane. That's the attack you want him to do. When he does that attack, you just dodge to his side, and it's really, really easy. Moving right along. Hey, Serp. Yeah. I'll probably say something like that. What happened to Queen of Smiles? Um, I forgot to upgrade my weapon before it, which means that the, um... Unbelievable. Perfect RNG. Uh, I forgot to upgrade my weapon, which means that, uh, I got a rainbow, but it was a false rainbow. It wasn't a fair split. This is going unbelievably well right now. A lot could still go wrong. Like, I'm on very, very good pace now, but, um, well, a, a lot could go wrong. Okay, let's, let's see what kind of RNG I get for this guy. This is another boss where, like, Ronan Cran, if he gives me a specific attack that I want, I can insta-kill him. There we go, that's the attack I want. I'm surprised that wasn't Rainbow, actually. Now we're gonna go to Castle of Storms, and we're gonna quit again for the same reason as before. Quitting the game here tricks the game into giving me a new ability. Okay. It might actually be faster to just do no leveling up here, but uh, I'm going to do some anyway. Okay, next up is the uh, Kraken Worm. Kraken Worm, whatever. Uh, this guy... It's not usually a difficult boss fight, but it can be a tricky boss fight because he likes to fly away from you and waste a whole bunch of time. So if I'm lucky, he'll go down super, super quick. He actually goes down in like three hits, I think. Yeah, my run is on Monday of GDQ week. It's uh, like two runs after Devils or something. Wow! Okay, or he could give me perfect RNG. Apparently I prayed to RNG to super hard before this, because this is unbelievable. Okay, so the next boss is going to be another very RNG heavy fight. So let's see how that one goes. Yeah, it'll be a good time. It'll be kind of nice to get the run out of the way early. So by the way, the next boss is called Murdiel and Mal. It's way up in this area called Mal's Floating Fortress. It's an optional boss. And to get there legitimately is actually, I think, one of the cooler parts of the game, so it's kind of too bad that we skip it. But here, I'm going to ladder clip so far out of the world that you're going to see my character go off screen. And uh, in a second, I'm just going to start falling at about a billion miles per hour. I'm going to slam into the ground. It should shatter every bone in my body, but I will be just fine. Because of the magic of speedrunning. We'll all have to kind of hype it up a little. Okay, this is the attack that I've been working on. Dodging! Oh, got it. Crap, wrong thing. Get beat, you freaking butterfly. I dodged every attack there. I've never done that before. I've never, ever done that before. That's fantastic. 
Next boss, also very RNG heavy. Pretty much every boss is RNG heavy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I've never dodged all of those that well before. Never, ever, ever. Crap. Oh, volume warning. It gets very loud there, but that is the attack you want her to do. I need to remember to warn people about volume before that boss fight starts. Oh, hey. Hey, Abby. I'm probably going to choke this, but, like, this is going so well right now. Ah, you didn't jinx it. This fight I'm intentionally not jumping into. I want this guy to run at me from the left. And if they behave, I can get very, very quick kills on them. Come here. One down. Two down. I'll heal up just to be safe. for this. Now, some of the next bosses can be very, very challenging, so let's see how it goes. I have to heal here to survive the next fall. Okay. Moving right along. This is probably the most platforming heavy section, besides maybe the woods. This is such a good run right now. Okay, so you do, okay, drop here, then do this and you can survive this fall. Heal. Alright. Okay, this next boss is called the Forgotten King Singular, but it's actually three bosses in one, so. You get triple the RNG, so let's see what happens. Run. I am not gonna mess with that magic, it's way too dangerous. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Heal. Yes! Okay, that boss was one I was really, really worried about. My heart is racing right now. That boss fight is way more difficult than it looks. Because that magic is so deadly you would not believe. I mean, this next boss is deadly. Every boss is deadly. Who am I kidding? Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with this right now. Got it. Good. How much healing do I have? One left. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, coming up is the final boss. Only one left. My heart is pounding really, really fast. Please, please, please give me a good attack. Please give me a good attack. That's not it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as I'm still alive. This is a glitch, by the way. This thing happens multiple times. 
Come here. Crap. That's bad. Come on, do a good attack. Do a good attack. Come on. Come on. Good, that's what I wanted. I can't believe that hit me. I have to be very careful here. He doesn't have a flask on him, so this is really, really bad. Come on, do a good attack. Come on. No! Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That guy is um incredibly difficult. I also haven't practiced him yet. Fucking A. Well, I might still be able to PB, but it won't be by as much. Yeah, the, the retrigger glitch is really stupid. It wasted more time. You know, if I was going to die, I would have liked to die at least faster. The other thing is that the, um, the hitboxes on that guy's sword are frankly extremely broken. Like, I really didn't get hit by most of those attacks. But it's still, uh, it's still thought that I did. I mean, I, I maybe could have killed him, but I actually messed up. I should have killed him. It was my own fault that I didn't because I missed him with a flask of defilement. Oh my god. Again, here, here's another, like... Three, four, five seconds of, of waste. <sighs> See, that's how fast he can go down. So this will be a PB, but... Um, damn it, that could have been like a two-minute PB. Alright, good. 36.30, new time. That could have been a, um, that could have been like low 35, maybe even 34 or something. That sucks. I could have killed the final boss, but I missed him with my second flask of defilement, which isn't even really my fault. The only reason it missed is that he decided to just back away out of nowhere. And once that guy gets you in a corner, it's nearly impossible to dodge because his hitbox, or the hitboxes on his, um, on his sword are are so, so broken. You get hit by them out of nowhere. It's really, really dangerous. Thank you for the GG's, guys. At least it's a PB, though. World record is 33... 42. So my Soma best is less than world record right now.